Hi everybody and welcome back to Motor City Makeup Mama. I'm Sarah and tonight we're going to be kind of taking a look at um, I guess a makeup haul that I did over the past couple weeks. Um, I know I still have the two flowers in my hair but I kind of want everything out of my face right now and I didn't have a headband so um, anyway so let's take a look at a few of the things and of course um, at the end of the video I'll be showing you um, the, some of the MAC Selena collection. I'm so excited that I was able to get some of it. Um, anyway, I'll talk more about that later. So, a um, couple of things. Of course, we all know NYX is one of my favorite, favorite brands ever um, as far as a drugstore cosmetic um, company. And so I'm going to show you a few things that I picked up for them um, from them over the past, really the past month. Um, Maybe two, two and a half months ago, NYX announced that they were coming out with this new um, liquid lip cream called NYX Cosmic Metals. And I had been waiting and waiting and waiting for this to come out in the stores, and it finally did. And I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. So not only did I pick up pink, which is versatile, it can be worn everywhere, but I also got, because I'm trying to be less... Uh, I don't wear it to work, but I'm trying to be less conservative with my makeup color choices. I also picked up this awesome, I'll do it one at a time, blue, as well as a purple. And the purple is called, does it have a name? I don't think it does. Oh, Asteroid Aura. The blue is Comet's Tail, and the pink fuchsia fusion so um, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these for you and I'm actually gonna swatch them on my lips because realistically seeing them in on an arm is wonderful but you want to see what they look like in person so we'll start with the pink now I wore the pink one to a bachelorette party and stayed on all night <laughs> through drinks and games and food. Guys, I'm not used to and of course I raised up my computer today so I'm really having a hard time seeing over the top. So there is the Fuchsia Fusion. Beautiful. It's very metallic-y, very pigmented. You can see how little I actually used. Um, so there is that one. These retail for, I believe, seven, $7, I believe is what they were at. You can get them at Ulta. Uh, I found them at both the Ulta at Macomb Mall as well as the one at Hall and Shaner. Ooh, I don't want it on my actual face. Okay, take this one off. Oh, that wasn't very smart now, was it? And we'll test the purple one next. And this one is the Asteroid Aura. I have not actually tried this yet. I haven't worn the purple one. Ooh, I actually really like that. I'd wear that to work. You can still kind of see the pink underneath. I really like the purple one. I would wear this on a daily basis. I love how metallic -y this is. You can see it much better than the pink one. Mm, I like the purple. Okay. Okay. 
go ahead and remove the purple. And we are going to try the blue and then we'll remove the blue. And uh, I did it again. Because I of course got lipsticks um, from the Sephora collection, so we're gonna wanna try those out. Okay. Let that try. That, guys, that is my natural look right now. It looks super, everything looks super pink in this camera. All right, this is Comet's Tail. I would say depending on your place of employment, probably not a work color. I don't know how they'll feel about metallic blue lips, but Not bad, I would usually go further under, but since I'm just going to take it off. Ooh, I like the blue. I don't think I'd wear it to work. I'm pretty sure the kids would be scared, but I like the blue. I would wear it. It doesn't look horrible. I'm sure mom's watching this video going, I don't like the blue. I could do the purple, but she's probably not loving the blue, but I like it. I like the blue. Okay. All right, I'm just going to leave that on there because my lips are a little sore from... All right, the last NYX thing that I got recently is new. It's called Lip of the Day by NYX. And it's kind of like, I guess, a lip liner? I don't know. Um, I got this one in Magnetic. And I'm loving, like, the designs on lips. If you I don't know if you've looked at Pinterest at all lately, but... They're all about like drawing on the lips and creating like cool designs. And so, it... oh, I'm kind of sad. My brush is kind of wonky. Well, I might be returning this. So my brush, which should be a total like straight little brush like up at the top is not. It's not really showing up great on the blue but the idea here is that you can take this and draw on your lips and do all kinds of great designs and dots and polka dots and whatever so I think this would look better with a matte lipstick because this is so metallic um, but a great concept however totally disappointed with the fact that I just opened it and we're having issues with the brush, but that's okay. Um, I'll be visiting you guys at Ulta later. <laughs> um, okay, so that's that. All right, next is my last lip product, and I have already tested this out because I couldn't wait. I asked my husband to order it for me from Amazon, and that is the My Lip Tint Pack in Pure Pink. Uh, shout out to Tara, who noticed that I um, was getting something that was a Korean cosmetic product when I posted it on my Facebook page, my personal page, and um, she was like, I hope it's that peeling lip tint. It is. So I tried it. Here's the deal. So this is what it is. It comes in this tube, and it comes out super. I'm going to do it on my arm. I don't. Maybe I'll do it on my hand. So it comes out kind of like, it looks like a candy jelly. So you can see, I don't know if you can tell how super, there it is, how super pink and shiny that is. Um, so you have to let this dry. And I had to let it dry for like 15 minutes. And it's so sticky. You cannot put your lips together or it's like pulling. However, the payoff on this lip tint, which I think was 
$10 on Amazon, maybe. Um, the payoff on this lip tint is amazing. My lips were tinted the most beautiful, not hot pink, but like a bright natural, excuse me, a bright natural pink, if that makes sense. Um, and it was amazing. So all you're going to do, and it's going to take a while to do it, so I'll do it later in the video, is you're going to peel this off of your lips when you're done. Sorry guys, I ate dinner late tonight. Apparently I'm not feeling well. Okay, um, at Lush, their Halloween stuff has come out. So I was waiting and waiting and waiting, and if any of you don't know this, Lush at Partridge Creek, their shipment day is on Thursday, so if there's anything you're looking for, that's one to go. So I got this awesome little lotion bar this week. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. It is the Goth Fairy Bar. It has a lot of sparkle and shimmer. I don't know if it's the camera's not really picking that up. Go ahead and get my nails done. Okay. Um, but it's got like a black currant, I think is what the smell is. But it's like a fruity, sweet kind of vanilla. But the shimmer payoff is awesome. So I'm going to do it on this arm because... Kind of rub our goth fairy on there. I don't know, can you see? Shimmer a little bit. A little. So that was from Lush, and I think it was $7.95. It is very moisturizing. It's super sparkly. I've bought other lotion bars from them before. So definitely um, go in there and uh, pick up a massage bar. It's definitely worth it. All right. Next is from Urban Decay. They have a Moon Dust palette. That's a dry palette that they came out with. It was amazing. I bought it, of course, um, with some Christmas money that I had saved up. Um, but then they came out with a liquid Moon Dust eyeshadow, and this is in the color Chemtrail. And it's kind of a champagne -y color. I don't know if you can really see that. Um, I'm going to put it on top of my hand next to the pink lip tint. It is very, very metallic-y. You can see that is so shimmery and bright. It is amazing. Um, I cannot wait to try this on my eyes. I just have not had a chance to do so yet. Um, Liquid Moon Dust Shadow. It was, I believe, $22 at Sephora. Um, they have a lot of different colors. They have a beautiful purple one that I tested in the store, but I was kind of looking for a, a neutral uh, metallic glitter. So there's that. All right, just, oh man, I have a lot more than I thought I did. I've been, it's been a month and I've had money that I've been saving up for myself and this is the one thing I let myself splurge on. It's my one thing that I've been letting myself do, and as I'm seeing things to try, I want to try them. So um, the next thing is, I don't know if you've noticed on Facebook, but there's a new company out there called Smolder Cosmetics. Um, their eyeshadows are crazy, crazy metallic. Um, so I said to myself, I have to have one. <laughs> so um, this is what it came in. I ordered the pink gold. Um, it was $9, not bad at all. This is gonna last me forever. And I haven't even tested it yet, guys. I have not even tested it on my skin. I'm so excited. You guys are gonna get to be the first ones to see. I gotta take a little plastic ditty off. That's gone. All right, I'm gonna put some in the top, I guess. There it goes. Okay. Oh man. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, ready guys? Here we go. Let's see how is it right? Oh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's very iridescent and metallic. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is beautiful. It is, it is so it is everything it was supposed to be. Oh, this is yep. Go to Smolder Cosmetics if you love metallic and iridescent and really just like I kind of want to put some on over like the I am wearing the Selena shadow, which in person does not look like this. And and I'm just gonna put it on my eyelid because like in the center there. Oh man, that's pretty. Oh 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 wow! Look how that changed that. 
Okay, Smolder Cosmetics, you have a buyer for life. As long as you have a product, I'm going to be buying it. Wow, that totally changed and like brightened up my eye. Oh, worth every, every penny of that $9 that I spent on myself. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Where was this stuff when I did my makeup about 10 minutes ago? It was still in the box. Still in the packaging, it came really fast, I will say that. Um, wow. Yes. Yep, Smolder Cosmetics. Go out and get some. They also sent me a, a sample of one. It doesn't say what it is, but it is blue. It is a blue color, which I obviously love blue just a little bit. So let's see. Oh, it's pretty. It's not nearly as heavy as the other one, but I got the Dazzle Dust, I think, is the one I got. No, the Glam Dust was the pinky one, and this is a Dazzle Dust, so it's not nearly as heavy. It's just more of a light sparkle. Also good. I will definitely put that to use. Okay, thank you for my sample, Smolder Cosmetics. Awesome. All right, guys. Um... And lastly, we're going to open this up together. I'm a little excited. I wanted a great highlighter. I've been looking at one by Becca Cosmetics. Um, I think in the color Pearl is the one that I really, really wanted. And it's $38. And I said to myself, huh, well, there's other ones that I like to let me see what we can find. So it's Sephora last week with my, um, my birthday buddy. We share our same birthday. Shout out to Liz. Um, we were there and for $30 instead, and it included my second choice um, highlighter that I wanted to try out by a high-end company at Sephora at Partridge Creek was the Sephora Favorites Glow For It. This was $30 and it incl includes uh, one, two, three, four, uh, six different products. Um, so let's, I haven't even opened it up to play with it, which is why I didn't have a highlighter for my last video. Um, there it goes. So of course they had all these to test in the store and the, my second choice product was of course in here. So let's open this up and see what we've got. Oh, it's packaged very nicely. Those are some good products. Realistically, I'm a total believer in buying things that are less money um, or a little bit smaller because how much of this are you going to use? If you really use your a big giant highlighter compact every single day, then I would say yes, absolutely buy it. I don't use highlighter every single day. In fact, those of you who see me on a daily basis know Miss Sarah does not always wear makeup. It's a very rare occasion. So um, let's take a look at the different products that they gave us and we're going to try them out and I'll show you what they look like. All right, so, oh, oh, we're dropping things. Okay, so the first one is the Becca, it's by Becca, um, but it's a little bit different than their powder that I was looking at, is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Moonstone. I have never tried a liquid highlighter before. Powdered, yes. Liquid, no. So I'm a little intrigued to see how this is going to work and if I'm going to love it. Um, sometimes things like this scare me. I work so hard to put my entire face together and then I worry that I'm going to have an issue when it comes to putting the highlighter on. So here is... The Becca shade in Moonstone, the highlighter, and that is, I really need a great camera. Um, it is beautiful. It is honestly not as scary as I was expecting it to be. Um, I was, I don't know if I have any off of my finger, I don't. Um, I think I could use this on my face. Let's put a little on there. Let's put a little bit of, um, cream highlighter on my face. Let's see what happens. So this is where I would put the highlighter anyway. Probably not down that far on my cheek. I'm getting a little red in the face just because, well, 
it has a nice, you can see it on the face. You can see, see it? There it is, the highlighter. Not on this side. Beautiful. Oh, I like it. I will use this. Thank you very much for giving me a sample of that to try. Um, the next one is also a cream, and this is called Watts Up, like, like, like a watt, a 30 watt light bulb, and this is by um, Benefit Cosmetics, and this is in Champagne. Benefit is great, too. I use a lot of Benefit Cosmetics. So, let's see. But see, this is kind of the point of the highlighter, is you shouldn't be able to see it. Oh, you can see there. There you go. That is great. So, that's another cream highlighter. It's just a small amount, but... This is so that you can try it out, see what you like, test it out, okay, before you commit to anything. Um, the next one is called Cover FX, and these are custom infusion drops in lemongrass. Ooh, okay. Shake well before use. Okay. I am not sure. I'm going to have to read up on these. I should have done that probably before I did the video, but to see, but lemongrass is a... Oh, it's not, it's not real, it doesn't smell like real, so is this supposed to like, it's like, it's an oil, hmm, hmm, I don't know, I'm gonna have to read about how I'm gonna use that, but it's definitely not shimmery, it's not shimmery like, like this highlighter is by Becca, where you can see, it's not shimmery like that, it's just an oil. I'll get back to you on that. I'll type something in the comments. Not entirely sure how I feel about that. Okay, this was my second choice. This is by Hourglass. So it's kind of weird. Um, and this is the Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder in Incandescent. And there it is, so pretty. So I'm just going to swatch it. I have looked at Hourglass. I have a hard time trying to decide between Hourglass and Becca. Hourglass and Becca. And so we're going to put this one right down here. Uh, not that one. No, nope, you can't really see it in this light. Anyway, it is beautiful. It is not nearly as highlighty as the Becca. In fact, you know what? Here. I hate doing this without a brush, but I put them away already from the last video. It is a little bit, it's hard to catch the light, but not like this one. Okay, well, I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit. Maybe with a brush and constantly putting on, it's going to turn out good. We'll see. All right, I love you guys, but I can't look at the blue lips on myself anymore because I would never pair it with this on a, on a normal basis, and I kind of want my lips to dry out a little bit before I do the MAC, so. Take a pause, let me take the blue off. So that it's gone before we put better okay um, okay the next two items that were in there is the Lancome glow subtle silky cream highlighter in glowing lights um, hey mom this might come to you it looks a little dark for me so there it is it's got a multitude of colors so it kind of reminds me a little of a bronzer it is, oh, it's a little, it's a little spongy. It's like kind of like a cross between a cream and a powder. I'm not sure what to make of it. It's very pretty when you swirl it, but it's definitely more of a bronze color. So I feel like it would go better on a little bit darker skin tone. My mom is more of like a, a medium tone. I feel like she might benefit from that more, so... If mom, if you want it, comment down below. I will bring it to you this week when I see you. Or I'll drop it off with dad tomorrow when I see him. Um, so there's that one. It's great. It feels really nice. It's very silky. It does not disappoint. But it might be a little too dark for me. Okay. And the last one is the Milk Makeup Shine Oil. Okay, another oil. I don't know what to do with these. I'm going to have to get back to you. Maybe I'll just do a separate video on them. This one comes with a roller ball. Doesn't really have a smell, it just smells clean. Sunshine oil. 
Mm, it's got grapefruit in it and tangerine. It's Oh, yeah, it's citrusy. Mandarin, lemon, apricot. Mmm. Oh, yeah, it's very citrusy. Okay, I'm going to do a video on these oils at some point and tell you what they do because I just don't know. Um, it's a learning process. All right, guys. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. At least I hope so. It was the moment I was waiting for. I am going to go ahead and show you my Mac bag and what's inside. I'm so excited. So... I'm a huge Selena fan. Um, her movie came out in 1995. I was in fifth grade. I was 10 years old at the time, and I fell in love with Selena. I love everything about Selena. And last year in July, um, Matt Cosmetics had done a, um, a um, oh, what is that word? What is it called? A petition, like to sign if you wanted to see a Selena collection. Mac does different collections. They've done Simpsons. They've done Trolls is out right now. All different collections. Um, people signed fans of Selena's and we got a Selena collection. Last year they announced it and I have been waiting ever so patiently to get it. Um, I went into Nordstrom's. They do a pre-sale. So shout out to my girl Chris over at the Mac counter. Hi, thank you so much for calling me because otherwise I would not have gotten the Selena cosmetics that I wanted and I did get them and I am so excited. Um, okay, so I put them back in the packaging because it's just so much more fun to take everything out of the packaging and do a big reveal. But I did actually use both of my shadows in my look today before I put my Smolder Cosmetics on. So the first shadow is called Fotos y Ricardos. Ricardos? I don't know. I don't speak great Spanish. That's not my thing. So there's the great little purple packaging. And this color is kind of like a, like a pinky peach tone. And... There it is. So I put this over my entire lid, um, covering kind of giving me a base before I put the next color on. So this is great. Perfect. I have been saving my money so that I can buy this Selena collection. Seriously, I can't contain myself. I heard from the DJ at the wedding I was at last weekend that there is a Selena Barbie doll coming out. So if any of y'all see it, pick it up, message me. I will pay you for it if you can get it before me. I want a Selena Barbie doll. I'm not going to let my little girl play with it. She's going to be in my room, probably on my beautiful makeup area. Um, that is where she's going to be. So the, okay, so the next color is called Selena. And it is a beautiful violet purple. It's got kind of like a pearly color to it, um, like a sheen. It It's fantastic. It does go on a little pink on my skin tone. Um, on BuzzFeed, they did a great sampling on all different skin tones. So go ahead and go on BuzzFeed, look it up. Um, I'll link it below as well if I remember because I'm doing so much right now. Um, it's wonderful. It shows you what it's going to look like on all the different skin tones, every product in her line. Um, so go ahead and check that out. Um, if you have a darker skin tone, it's going to look much more purple. And um, myself and my friend Liz, who also went out with me and got pre-sales on uh, the Selena makeup, um, it was a little bit more of a, like a pinky purple tone, but I think it's beautiful. I love the way that my makeup is looking right now. I wasn't sure about the pink on my skin, but I really like it. So, um, I will be using that a lot. Okay. Next, before we get to the really good stuff, which is the lipsticks, which I kind of love lipstick a little bit. Um, shout out to Jenny. Hey Jenny. Um, Jenny also loves lipstick and not as much. I don't love it nearly as much as she does, but pretty darn close. All right, so the next one is a bronzer blush combo. It's called Technocumbia, and here it is. You might be looking at that and thinking to yourself, Sarah, that is a really dark bronzer. It does not come out that dark. I tried it in store. Um, I kind of hate to ruin the beautiful Selena imprint. So there it is. It is actually not that dark. It is a silky, silky, oh, stunning silky silky color um it feels really really nice on the skin i'm loving it all right 
lipstick time. Get excited. I'm going to get up kind of closer to the camera. All right, the first one is, and I think this is the lighter, Como La Flor. Nope. I like, I'm not going to do Como La Flor first because I'm going to show you all of them. No. Oh, man. I thought I was prepared. Okay. Aha. Okay. This is Amor Prohibro. Prohibdo? Amor? Prohibdo, yes. It is a beautiful, taupey, pinky color. Let's put it on. I should have. All right. My lips are so pink right now from this camera and the lighting. It's a beautiful nude. It's a little bit pink. It's a, it's darker. I'm gonna have to take a picture or something. Um, I'm gonna swatch it on my arm. So there it is on my arm. That is what it looks like on my lips in the mirror. I know it doesn't look like that here on the camera, but it is. Um, great color I love it I this is definitely like an everyday you can wear this every day it's awesome all right remove this one okay. I'm sure my lips are a little pink too because they're probably pretty irritated with me for all the different colors on it all right the next one is como la flor Como la flor, tanto amor, me diste tu. Okay, sorry, I just, see, I love it. Okay, so this is a beautiful, bright red. It is stunning, and I am a red girl. I have probably four or five different red lipsticks. Uh, uh, it's so buttery. This is Selena's, apparently her signature color is what I was told. I'll, it looks beautiful on camera. It's stunning, ugh, new favorite red. There it is on my arm. Mm, yep. So now if you're wondering to yourself, hey, how can I get these? I love them, Sarah, and I want them. You're gonna have to see, call up to, um, a Nordstrom's, a Macy's, a Carson's, um, see if they have any in store that are left. I know these are flying like hotcakes. Uh, Mac.com sold out in like I think an hour or two. It actually broke their website and people were pretty mad about it that they couldn't get the lipsticks. All right, last one couldn't get anything. In fact, there's still a lip glass that is an online only product called Bitty Bitty Bum Bum, which is my favorite Selena song ever. Um, that one is an online only lip glass. It's a gloss. Can't get it in store and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, Mac, please, 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 please go through and uh, get more stock in these products because I don't think you anticipated the Selena fans and their purchasing of these products. All right, so the last one is Dreaming of You. And it is definitely a darker, darker red. Also incredibly creamy. Sorry for my poor lipstick skills here. I'm trying to be better at doing it in the camera. So it looks really kind of brown, but it's not. It's like a burgundy wine red. There it is. Stunning, beautiful. All right, 
Last but not least, let's go back and peel off that Korean lip stain. So you can see, oh, that hurts. Ow, there's hair on my hand. So there it is. It peels off, and you can see it's stained my hand. It's a beautiful pink. It's not that bright, crazy, hot pink that it was. Um, yeah, so... Um, like I said, I will go ahead and link to the products down below, um, both on the YouTube video and on the Facebook page um, when I post the video. So feel free, pick up the products, tell me what you like, what you don't like. If there are things that you want to see, please, 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 please tell me. Um, if there's a eye makeup tutorial you're dying to see or there's something on Pinterest and you're like, how do I recreate that? I'm great at recreating things. Send me a picture um, and I'll see what I can do. All right, guys. Have a great night. Stay tuned. I'm going to film one more video tonight sans all these because now I have makeup on my face and I'm just going to leave it like it is. Um, so stay tuned for some skincare. All right, guys. Have a great night.